Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. I uh, hope everybody survived this sleepy day. We'll get to that in a second. If you are uh, brand new to the channel, guys, please, we appreciate your support, your viewership. Uh, all we ask in return is a like, a share, uh, and some friendly comments to refer people to this channel so we can get to this journey together of unbiased technical analysis. So that spiel is done. Let's talk about the markets. Uh, I, I don't know. Was there was there National Beaver Day? Was it, uh, I don't know, make, is there a holiday that we didn't know about today? Um, you know, we could have literally, I think, you know, shut down our computers within the first 20, 30 minutes of the day. And then if you logged in around 3.30 for the second part of the day, uh, maybe you'd have caught the movie. Yeah, I mean, it was a very, very slow day today. Um, after last week's uh, very, very aggressive uh, action, we, we, are we again, if you were watching this channel, you kind of... Uh, know this into nausea you know we've gone from from the bottom of the range to the top of the range back to the bottom back to the top only to go back to the bottom um the volatility definitely died down today i, I think that uh, i think everybody can agree with that um the problem was not only the volatility die out which was actually a good part uh the volume dried out okay uh and the ranges got really really tight very very narrow uh if especially if you trade in uh the technology mega cap uh, a beta space. And, you know, you, you woke up this morning, you saw a lot of, you know, big disconnect. Uh, Microsoft was up, you know, four or five points pre-market. Uh, Google was down four or five points pre-market. NVIDIA was holding up. AMD was going down. It's kind of what we talked about on the weekend video. A lot of, you know, a lot of disconnect in the market. And we thought, well, you know, let's see if we could, we could actually get out of this channel and get out of this doldrum today. And unfortunately, we did not. Right. Unfortunately, we did not. And it's not that there wasn't opportunities. We'll get to the pivots in a second. Uh, there was some names, you know, that did really well. The Ian, uh, if you guys remember ETNB, we discussed uh, from last night's video, had a really, really uh, big aggressive run. Microsoft, there was nice little uh, cash flow push there as well. Uh, AMD uh, broke down. We talked about AMD from last night's video as well. But other than that, man, just just bland, just extremely bland. Uh, nothing really going on. Um, listen, is it possible, uh, you know, buyers are sitting there, sellers are sitting there waiting uh, for Netflix to kick off the earnings season? We'll get that answer tomorrow. You know, they report uh, tomorrow night, followed by uh, Wednesday on Tesla. And speaking of Tesla, if you if you watched, just to give you an idea how tight everything was, this was the whole day of Tesla, guys. This was literally the whole day. It, it, it gapped up, sold off. And four hours did nothing in, in the last hour or so kind of woke up. And that's, you can see that with the rest of the market as well. Uh, again, very, very uh, anticipated. One of the very anticipated uh, earnings reports will be on Wednesday. They tried to rally today a couple of times. Uh, obviously, you know, it's going to need to get above the 50 day. I don't think that's going to happen uh, before earnings. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a line in the sand going into earnings, both uh, to the bottom and to the top side. But until we get that, we have to kind of survive tomorrow. And, you know, I, I, I don't see, again, and I could be very, very pleasantly surprised, but I don't see what's going to get us out of this range tomorrow. There's no uh, Fed meetings. There's no uh, data coming out. Uh, there's nothing. There's nobody speaking tomorrow. So I don't know, right? I, I really don't know uh, what's going to get us out of this channel tomorrow one way or another. But every single time, and the same formula has been the last uh, couple, uh, X amount of days, you see the market just drifting, 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 and get that r last rally when nobody, you know, everybody's already logged off uh, after three, three thirty to kind of close it and look like and look like there was a you know a, a decent day to to average day on the upside. If you look at the Dow up one hundred, S and P up thirteen, uh, Nasdaq was up thirty four. This is the most lifeless thirty four points. I think I've seen uh, in the market in a very, very long time. But I, I do believe, though, in the next couple of days, because, again, I don't want to call this a distribution channel because it's not. Uh, distribution usually takes place from the top when the market's kind of topping out or the bottom where the sellers are getting tired. This is more of, well, let's see what happens, right? Let's see what happens type of channel. And the one thing I will say, excuse me, 
the one thing that I, I will say is th these channels, this type of sequence that doesn't last for a long time, you know, four or five days, and then there's some sort of event that usually takes us out. Hopefully, uh, now that we've, we're kicking off earning season in technology, hopefully that will be the catalyst uh, to get us out of the range. But I think going into tomorrow, uh, again, like I, I've been saying every single day, you know, I think scalp, man, scalp, try out know, 50 cents a dollar. Dollar and change, use break even as you stop. Again, I don't think you're going to get 200 opportunities tomorrow because everything is so congested into the into these contraction channels. But I, I do think every single day uh, will provide opportunities. So, yeah, like we you know Microsoft today, uh, that ETMB, again, we'll get to the uh, pivots in a second, uh, AMD. But you're not going to get, you know, you're not going to get everything going at once. And that's exactly what we need. We need what's happening right now is called kind of the Christmas tree effect. You get some, you know, some technology stocks are green, some of them are red. That's the Christmas tree effect. We don't want that. We want everything to be either green or everything to be red to kind of move as one, move as a unit, move uh, as a tribe. And again, would you know, God willing, hopefully we'll get that uh, after uh, t after Netflix and uh, Tesla reports. So going into tomorrow, you know, you know I'm kind of delta neutral again. Like I said in in, in uh, last night's video, you know, you want to give. The bulls, the benefit of the doubt. The only, uh, the only, only short channel that I saw today uh, was actually over the weekend was AMD that hit the 50-day moving average perfectly. But everything else is kind of really knee deep in the middle of the channel. So the, the best piece of advice I can give, if you are trading, especially <clears throat> if you are trading, especially a new trader, you know, see, you know, wait for the premium channels to develop. Uh, if you're an experienced trader, you know, you could take advantage of these channels. You know, get some cash flow, manufacture some runs. But I, I wouldn't be pressing. Uh, I wouldn't be pressing until we saw some very, very clean daylight. And when you look at the charts, especially going the tight, you're not going to get a million clear channels. If, if that was the case, then everything would have been rallying uh, towards the top of the range. So let me give you guys uh, some ideas for tomorrow, and I'll give you guys, uh, and I'll give you guys, you know, show you guys some of the pivots uh, that kind of worked out there. I'll just show you all the pivots. Uh, nothing really didn't work out. It was just a very, very uh, slow day. So let me give you guys a couple of ideas uh, for tomorrow. Uh, Shopify looks really good. You know, keep an eye on the Shopify. Uh, some $50 uh, short-term expiration uh, started popping. This is definitely one of the cleanest pockets uh, that we do see. Uh, another name uh, that definitely looks is starting to get pretty good. Nvidia. You know, Nvidia had uh, you know had uh, you know nice little nice little consolidation to the rising 20. So the news with uh, Tesla ordering some chips. Uh, or at least wanting to ordering some chips on Friday. And again, don't let it fool you that, that the video closed at the high of the day. This took place literally, literally, this whole big spike here, you can see here above the 269, it literally happened in the last five, 10 minutes. So don't think for a second that, you know, the video took out yesterday's channel and just exploded. No, it, it literally happened uh, in the last five minutes. And it's really, really deceiving when you see uh, a lot of the prints, but it does look uh, pretty good. Uh, XPEV, one of these Chinese uh, EV names, uh, setting up pretty well here. You can see this whole channel here. Uh, that looks interesting. And another stock, I believe it's Chinese as well. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. I have no idea. Um, I could be wrong. But this EH, I don't know what this is, looks very, very strong. We claimed the 50-day moving average today. And if it starts building above that, uh, maybe starts uh, confirming back uh, up to higher prices for tomorrow. Everything else in beta land, kind of in no man's land. Microsoft, you know, was a decent pivot today. Uh, stopped short of, uh, you know, the, the 2023 highs, maybe wakes up tomorrow, right? Maybe wakes up tomorrow uh, as well. But other than, other than that, you know, things are pretty tight. The good news is you don't need to force everything, you, anything. Uh, you don't need to trade every single day. You don't need to be in positions nonstop. Just kind of take a step back and just kind of view the landscape, right? When the market is congested, uh, resting, you want to rest. When the market gets aggressive and everything starts uh, trading to the top of the range or the bottom of the range, you want to join that uh, you want to join that view and start pressing uh, in that direction. So again, going into tomorrow, you know, I'm open-minded. I really am. I'm open-minded, uh, but I do also understand that, again, we might run into another con congestion channel. The good news is that congestion channel will be gone uh, within the next 24 hours because Netflix will, will definitely have an effect of uh, prices, especially in the technology space, either going up or going down uh, after their release. So let's talk about today, right? Nothing, uh, nothing really... Uh, extraordinary, as like I said, uh, 269 uh, needs to build, got rejected, put in its initial opening range, got rejected at the 269 level. And you can see here, like I said, uh, towards the end of the day, literally in the last five minutes or so, I mean, literally, this is the last five minutes or so, uh, stock, you know, right up a dollar. So I, I like it for tomorrow. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, so Bupk is there. 
Uh, skin uh, attempted to come out of the channel. Not bad. You know, this is definitely the highest close in the whole formation. Uh, still looks pretty good. This is definitely the biggest mover. Uh, we talked about this thing uh, last night on uh, the weekend video. Uh, ETNB 1560 needs to build. Here was uh, e ETNB. Really, really strong move. Uh, took out the 1560 trade at the 17 uh, and change. Considering on this day one, it was a very, very... Uh, very, you know, very nice move there. Uh, Lululemon uh, didn't hold this earnings highs. I uh, traded up a couple of bucks. Uh, 321 uh, needs to build. We talked about Lulu last night on the video. Again, ran up about two bucks or so, you know, two and change, then crapped out. Uh, never recovered. Again, I, I don't know where the volume is. I really don't. Uh, AMD, uh, 9050 if it builds below can flush. Uh, AMD did exactly what it needed to do. It took out the 9050, traded right to 88. Uh, to the 88 rising 50 uh, day support, which obviously is going to be a, an important level. Uh, Tesla 182 never got down there. Note 284 never got down there. Uh, this was literally the first trade of the day, Microsoft. And this literally, you could have literally logged off between this and ETNB. You could have literally logged off after the, end of the day. Uh, 290 rejected twice needs to build. Yeah, not a, not a bad move at all. Uh, 290 traded to 291 60s very, very quickly. The market reversed. And so did as well. Um, and I believe that is it. Yeah. Amazon, uh, 103 tra 120s traded right into supply, never gave uh, a second entry. And I believe that's it. So that's it, man. That's the wrap up. I think, um, you know, I, I think you could sit there and try to bang your, you know, try, try to bang your head uh, against the wall or, or trying to figure it out. There's nothing to figure out. The market's going through digestion. Uh, you, you either take two courses of action, you sit there, complain, or just wait it out. It's going to be over in the next 24 hours, and, and, and we shouldn't go back uh, to normal organic ranges. And as soon as they do, hopefully everything uh, starts to expand. So, guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Stay healthy. Stay happy. And if you are trading, stay solvent. Take it easy, everybody.